And side note, both the Thompson twins, like I saw Kenny on Through the Wire say this, like, I am rooting for them. Like, all of the interviews that I've seen of them, like, they have some of the best mental that I've seen out of some of these rookies. Like, even the fact, like, he showed up to the the Rockets, like, introductory press conference in a suit. Like, he is a... business. He is a very, very professional rookie. Like, of all the people in that locker room that could probably use a vet, he might be a vet to Jalen Green, like it feels like already, right? At this point, yeah. He just seemed like, bro, they're just so calm. They seem mm -hmm. like they're, like you said, very professional. Like, bro, listen, I hope these guys really pan out. I really, really do. I really hope these guys pan out. And, like, like, I've seen that same thing you're talking about, Kenny's talking about. I have no... Horse or horseness race, like I have no reason to root for the Rockets, but like I really do hope these guys pan out. The Rockets and in Detroit, so. But um, I think the Rockets are in a very very weird spot in a good way. Like they have all of this cap space, but they have so many young. They have so many players already. Like they have yeah. so many young players already. Like they're in a like a like I said, it's a weird spot, but it's a good weird. It's like. You're you're rich basically, yeah, and you already have the core. Like you have the young guys. Like they're right. they're in a, they're in a really good spot. Like we've talked about it before. The Rockets, in a couple years, if they make all the right moves and they have the coach, in a mm-hmm. couple years they can be scary. Like legitimately scary. So that's gonna be interesting to see for years to come. Yeah, I think the best case scenario is you bring in guys on a on two-year deals, three-year deals, nothing crazy long, no five-year, no huge max contracts, right? Mm-hmm. You bring in those deals, you get guys who complement your young core, you continue to let them develop, right? And when those contracts are up, all of a sudden now we've freed up cap space at a time where we could go and get a guy that we pair him with now we're looking at like a year five Jalen Green, mm-hmm. a year five six Shingun, right? Year four Jabari, year three Amen Thompson is like, we can make some noise, right? So it's like you are, you got salary at a good, you have a cap now, and you put yourself in a position where you have cap at a time where you can actually go and try to make the contending move, mm-hmm. you know? So if they can do that right, I think they can really, really sweep free agency. Like, like I said, they almost have doubled the next closest team's cap. So they go in and make the right moves. Like, Rockets are in a very – it's a hard spot to mess this up, I think. 100%. And somebody has to pan out. There's no way between Jalen Green, Amen Thompson, uh, Jabari Jabari Smith – I almost said Jabari Parker. Jabari Smith <laughs> and Shingun. You can't miss on four of those guys. Yeah. Like, you just it, – like, it's just probability mm. at this point. They, they can't all miss. So, right. they, like you said, they're in a really good spot. All right, and I'm already confident in, in Jalen Green. I think the biggest knock people give on him is his efficiency, which is, I mean, that's a fair criticism. At the same time, bro, he's a young player on a on very, a bad very team. bad team. Like yeah. this is the these are same conversations that people had about Devin Booker, right? Mm-hmm. You know, now Devin Booker might be the best shooting guard in the NBA, right? right? Like it when you're a very good player on a bad team with no structure, right? You don't even have vets like that, right? Mm-hmm. So. You, it's this. These are inevitable. Like your efficiency isn't going to be great, right? But if you bring in guys and you kind of help him mold a, a healthier, better shot diet, that efficiency starts to catch up. That point per game might take another leap up from twenty to twenty four, twenty five. Like I think Jalen Green is legit. I believe in Shingun. I really like watching him in person. Like watching the Rockets games from last year, he really does show those flashes of like. That was kind of Sabonis-like. That was kind of Jokic-like, right? Like, just his ability to play make as a big man. Um, So, like, they just... I don't know what they could do to mess this this free agency period up. Like, you just Mm -hmm. bring in guys who do not detrimentally hinder your, you know, your your young player development, and it's a win. 